All right, I've had a request for some basic tutorials on drawing a part in Bobcad and uh, going through the toolpathing and carrying it out to a machine, putting it into Mach 3 and machining it. So I'm going to start with something really basic here, uh, a piece cut out of plywood, just a rectangular uh, shape cut out with some bolt holes and a pocket for a bearing to fit in and a hole in the center of the pocket for the shaft that the bearing is carrying to go through. So we'll start off really simply with a rectangle. We can go either to other at the top and pick a rectangle that way or go to the button here for rectangle. Uh, we can enter the values into the values for X and Y for the uh, size of the rectangle. So in X, I want to say a six inch and Y will go with four. We want a radius on the uh, rectangle. You don't have to have one. You can go with a sharp corner. But in this case, I uh, would like to have just a quarter inch radius on the thing. And the origin is defined as zero X, zero Y and zero Z. So it's going to be on the XY plane and uh, we'll pick the bottom left and then click OK and there we go. I am going to move it up. Uh, well, no, I'll wait until I've drawn everything and then move it up off of the X and Y so that when I machine it I'll have a little bit of stock on the outside. But that'll be for once I've got all the uh, geometry drawn. Alright, so you've got this part and I want to put uh, four five sixteenths bolt holes half an inch off of each corner so half an inch x half an inch y here i'll go over to arcs and coordinates and here i get to define the origin which is the center point of the circle in x we'll say 0.5 and same in y 0.5 and for the diameter, I don't know what, or excuse me, for the radius, not the diameter. I don't know what 530 seconds is in decimal, and I've got a calculator for that sort of thing, but also I've got a very fancy calculator in Bobcad. You, If you have a fractional value, just type it in. Uh, I want 530 seconds as the radius for this 516th bolt hole. I go 5 slash 30 seconds. And then when you hit enter, or if you just click on a different field, it does the calculation for you. So 0 0.1563 inches is 530 seconds. All right, I've got 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and the radius all set up for this bolt hole right there. With all that in, I'll click OK. There I have it. Now, instead of using the uh, same tool to just put new ones in all four corners, I'm going to use the translate tool to make a copy of this and put one up here. And then I'm going to grab both of those and make a copy of both of them over here. You've got several things you can do with translate. Delta is when you tell it how far to move and in what direction. Drag is when you just grab something and move it over here and drop it. Drag is generally not very precise and Although there are uses for it, you don't want to use it when you're doing precision moves. Sketch is when you do something like, I want to take the center point of this circle and I want to put it halfway along this line. You can use snap points to make that a quick and easy maneuver. But in this case, we'll just use delta. I want to take this circle. I want to make a single copy of it. I want to go one, two, three in the positive y direction. Zero that out, put in three. Delta, copy, got that set up. So I just left click, pull the selection box over the piece, or in the case of that, you could just click on it. With that right, I can uh, right click and hit OK, or I can hit the space bar to confirm it, and then hit OK to cause the operation to go off. So now I've got the two on the left hand side. I want to do the same thing, only with two of them this time, and I want to move them over five inches to be 
mirrored over on this side. So I want one copy. I'll zero Y out because they're good like they are in the Y uh, axis. I'll say five inches in the X axis. One, two, three, four, five. That'll still leave me half inch off those corners. Now here, because I've got one selected and one not selected, I want to go to the reselect button. Click that, which gives me a clean slate as far as picking what I want to move. And again, I'll left click, pull the drag box across them, hit the space bar or right click and hit OK. And then click OK to execute the action. And there you go. So there's my bolt holes. The other thing I want to do is to put two concentric circles right square in the center of the board. One of them is going to be a through hole, and then there's going to be a larger one that's going to be a 3 8 inch deep pocket for a bearing. So I'll go back to arcs, I'll go to coordinates, and it'll be 3 in the x-axis and 2 in the y-axis to get the center of the board. 3 and 2. Now for the small one, I want a three-quarter inch hole, so I'll go three-eighths of an inch radius, 0 0.375, and click OK. And for the larger one, I want an inch and a quarter pocket for this bearing to sit in, the theoretical bearing. I'm just making these numbers up largely as I go, uh, and it will be three-eighths of an inch deep, but that's for when we do the tool pathing. Half of inch and a quarter be 5 eighths. So 0 0.625. And that's good. All right, now that is all the geometry we need to cut this part out of 3 quarter inch plywood. We'll do the rest of it with tool pathing. There is one thing that I want to do, and that is to move the entire thing a quarter inch in the x direction and a quarter inch in the y direction. I don't want to copy this time, I just want to move everything. So zero that out. And in Y. The reason I want to do that is if I take the corner of this board that I've got, which will be bigger than this, there'll be some sticking out the top and some sticking out this side. But if I just butt it up and say, all right, this edge of this board is is perfect and this edge of this board is perfect and this is an exact 90 degree angle and everything unless it's a piece that's come off my machine I don't know that in fact it generally isn't going to be exactly square and it isn't going to be exactly straight and there isn't going to be you know perfect so I always leave a little bit of wood to actually be cut off so that I will get the conditions that I want so I've got X quarter inch Y quarter inch left click and just drag over the entire thing Grab it all at once, grab it all, click OK, and then tell it to execute that. So there we go. I'm going to do one more thing in this video, and then we'll save the uh, tool pathing for the next video. What I'm going to do is set up my stock. So I'll go to milling stock, right click on that, and go to edit. In this case, I can go with a stock length of 6.5, a stock width of 4.5, a stock thickness 3 quarters of an inch, tell it OK. So there I have the stock, which is you know, theoretically the, uh, the piece of plywood that I'm going to do my cutting out of. I'll discuss really quickly what I plan to do here. I'm going to take a 1 8 inch end mill and I'm going to cut these holes. I don't have a 5 16 bit and if I did it would be the wrong thing to put into a router. So this will be milled out very carefully with a 1 8 inch bit. When that's done, oh I should say first I'm going to clamp this board in place with some clamps on the uh, mostly on the corners. You'll, you'll see my setup and the way I clamp things down. Uh, I'll clamp the board in place I'll cut these holes. Everything else will be done with a quarter inch bit. So once I've cut those holes, I'll set up for a tool change. And while I've got the uh, router out of the way and everything shut down, I'll put screws down through these holes, or through two of them, 
and have the uh, board clamped down that way and I'll remove the clamps around the edge because A, they'll get in the way, B, they'll get cut, and C, they'll be ineffective once I take away the wood that they're holding onto anyway. So uh, that's an example of you know, machining strategies that I've got to think about ahead of time. I'll do these first. I'll have a tool change to do everything else. That tool change will also be when I change my clamps over, get the uh, or change to a different type of clamp, get everything out of the way. I'll also have the consideration of I'll now have bolt heads sticking up out of here. So I'll have to think about that when I'm doing the, uh, the tool pathing for the pocket and the hole and the uh, profile. I'll want to raise the tool up a little bit higher when it moves from here to over here. Just in case it passes across here, I don't want to, to uh, crash the tool into one of the bolt heads. But that's going to be for the next video. This was just a few basic drawing tools and uh, how to go about using them. And we will pick it up in the next one. Thanks very much.